Again, with a push for change, led by a Galveston area state senator working to allow crime victims and their families access to evidence in certain criminal cases before the trial. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Daniela Guzman. And I'm Brandon Walker. This initiative, State Senator Mays Middleton filing the bill after urging from loved ones of victims of the mass shooting at Santa Fe High School back in 2018. KPRC 2 investigator Robert Arnold in Santa Fe to explain what the proposal would allow and why families Family members are pushing for this change. Robert. Typically, state law allows evidence in criminal cases to remain confidential until that case goes to trial. For those devastated by the mass murders at Santa Fe High School, there has been no trial because the charged gunman remains incompetent to stand trial, and there is no time frame as to when his competency may be restored. That means these families are left in limbo waiting for answers. In this particular case, she was just erased out of my life. One day she was there, the next day she was gone, and I know nothing else, absolutely nothing. Steve and Ann Perkins were married for nearly 30 years. He says he lays awake at night wondering about his wife's final moments. Or did she live for 20, 30 minutes? Was she still alive? Did she suffer? Um, you know, what happened? on that day. I have all these questions in my mind, like where did it happen? Scott Rice's wife, Flo, was critically wounded during the May 2018 rampage. I would like to see how he was arrested, how long it took after uh, Flo was shot till they got him in custody. Since the accused shooter remains incompetent to stand trial, answers to these and myriad other questions remain shielded. That information belongs to me, not to them. Hearing this pain, State Senator Mays Middleton filed Senate Bill 435, which, prior to trial, would allow crime victims and immediate family members to see medical examiner's reports and videos of crimes. The bill also allows prosecutors to require signed confidentiality agreements from those viewing the material. I, I like all these answers to the questions is, how did this unfold and why? Did, did it happen? If I could just understand what happened to my wife that day as far as, you know, what she went through, it would mean a lot to me. The Galveston County District Attorney's Office is the one prosecuting these cases, and District Attorney Jack Roney supports the passage of this bill. You can read his full statement to us as well as the full text of that bill on click2houston.com. Reporting live from Santa Fe, Robert Arnold, KPRC 2 News.